Hi, and welcome to a packed course. This is Practical Office 365 Administration, and my name is Nakia Carter. I am the CEO and President of Carter McGowan Services, located in Virginia and the States. In 2001, I started my IT career as an applications and internet developer, and then I moved on in 2009 to SharePoint and InfoPath. Then a few years later, that's when Office 365 came on the scene, and I joined on that journey about a year later. I am a certified technical trainer through CompTIA and a Microsoft certified professional. We're gonna start off with section one. What is Office 365? I'll give you a brief history and background. We'll discuss the offerings, the subscriptions, We'll look at the Office 365 home, and I'll give you some quick tips for your new end users. In section two, we'll look at the Office 365 Admin Center itself. We'll look at its dashboard, how you configure the organizational settings, how you could set up new domains and add your existing domains, how you could set up and manage your users, how you can manage your licenses and subscriptions, also how you can get help. There's the Exchange Admin Center, where we'll look at managing the user's mailboxes, managing your organizational contacts and resources, as well as creating distribution lists and groups. In Skype for Business Admin Center, we'll look at its dashboard. We'll also look at the external settings for your organization, managing your user settings, setting your online meeting settings, We'll learn a little bit about the dial-in conferencing tools and reports. OneDrive for Business Admin Center. We'll look at configuring the sharing, sync, and storage settings, as well as configuring settings for compliance and device access. The SharePoint Admin Center. We'll look at managing the site collections, configuring sharing and device access settings, as well as configuring the other settings. We'll look at the other admin centers, including those for security and compliance, Azure AD, Power Apps, Flow, and Yammer. We'll look at some tips and resources. So in this section, we'll look at resources first. I'll give you some resources that will help you along your journey and some tips for applying them, as well as applying other things that you'll need to know. Other things you'll need to know on your journey to becoming an admin. Thank you so much and I hope you enjoy this course.